So it was um, probably one of the most beautiful days of the year um, out west in Colorado. I was doing a regular routine tree run that I normally would always do. I'm a snowboarder and I've been, you know, doing this for 15 years. And I saw the tree in front of me and I, I said, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, it, these things happen in a split second. I had a uh, horrific snowboard accident and shattered everything underneath my kneecap. They took an x-ray and they said, this is, this is a very, very bad break and we're gonna need you to go into emergency surgery. They were going to take a, um, a long metal rod and they were, gonna, they, were gonna put, they were gonna hammer it here, here, and here, and here, and I was gonna have this external metal rod that was gonna come out of my leg, and I was gonna have to live with that for about seven to eight days. So after I went through all of that, the surgeon came in and it was almost like the news just kept getting worse. The surgeon was like, you're gonna to need to have another major surgery, which is open reduction internal fixation, where they actually were gonna put a rod into my leg that went from the top of my knee all the way down to my ankle. But because they said I was tiny, that they were gonna have to do not one, but two surgeries. And I have two small boys at home. What am I gonna do with my family? How am I gonna care for my family? I like, I like, basically lost it. It's when I had to call my kids from the hospital. And I, I had to I had to tell them that I I wasn't I wasn't gonna be able to take them on a trip that we had planned together. It's just taken like time from my little boys and my family and I I've missed baseball games, soccer games, and it's not even it's not the pain. I'm battling the pain. And I the pain I got, it's just it's the, the time that comes away from your family and I and I talk to my clients about this every day and I have moms who have newborns, I have moms that were in car accidents who were pregnant, I have dads who can't go to work, who can't support their family because of injury and it's it's the real deal. I vividly remember just sitting in the in the hospital bed and I, I said to myself, Don't get upset. You're gonna get through this. You, you talk to clients every single day. Every day I'm on the phone with a client talking to them about their injuries, how they're feeling, talking to them about recovery, surgical recovery, giving them advice, staying positive for them. And now I'm in the same situation. And I had to say to myself, practice what you preach, Gina. It's like, you're gonna get through this. Um, you're gonna heal just like everybody else heals, but you're gonna have a long road ahead of you. The pain was excruciating. You have to push yourself through because if you don't, you're, ne you know, you're just gonna prolong your recovery. I think the best Best thing you can do is to is to battle it out. Um, you know, work out, stay strong, keep your head strong, play good music in your house. <laughs> there was a reason maybe that I had this injury. Um, maybe the universe wanted me to kind of feel some of the pain that my clients go through. I'm not sure, but um, I'm really happy to talk about it. And I've been talking to clients for many, many years about it. But this time, I get it even more.